Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's your boy, D. Lloyd. I'm back with episode four of our Marshall University NCAA 14 Dynasty. This week, we're going to be looking to bounce back after our last week loss against Ball State. This week, we're taking on 0-2 Ohio Bobcats in the Battle of the Bell rivalry game. Looking forward to this one. We need to bounce back, get back in the win column. I didn't show any recruiting early on this video. There was really nothing at all to show. I didn't even change a single point. All my points were allocated from last week. So I figure I'll show you guys a little bit more when I get some visits to schedule or I get some more action going on. But let's get into this game. Looking forward. It's a rivalry game. Our first rivalry game with Coach Lloyd at the helm. Trying to get take home the W. We need it, man. We need it. We can't go 1-2. I want to stay above 500 at all times. That's our goal. So let's get into this one. All right, starting off the game, Ohio gets the ball first. First and 10, they hand it off to Bo Blackenship. Man, he gets the ball for six yards. I'm going to just tell you right now, that man is a workhorse running back. He finished the game with 37 carries, so he was he was their offense. They give it right back to him on second to four. He goes for a four-yard run. Third and inches, we're trying to get a stop, get off. Once again, give it back to Bo Blackenship, and he is running. He finds room, and he is going down to the 30, the 25, and we bring him down at about the 23-yard line. But not after a 44-yard game by Bo. I like that name, Bo. <laughs> we give it back to Blackenship, and he's brought down, but not after a 9-yard run. Now second to one. Marshall's trying to lock down on D. Tettleton, he drops back and he finds a wide open Dante Foster, the senior receiver from Ohio. Wide open. I mean, there was nobody over there. He had all the time in the world to look for over there. But Tyler Tettleton, their quarterback, is also a senior. Marshall's first possession in the game. Rakeem Cato, he drops back. He throws the ball to nobody. It's incomplete. He's trying to bounce back after a rough week last week. Let's see if he could bounce back this week, give us a better performance. He drops back, and he is throwing another interception, this time to Nathan Carpenter, the junior cornerback, number 35. That is not a way to bounce back after a horrible game last week. He's trying to bounce back. Right here, Tyler Tettleton. It was just a botched play. It looked like it was a terrible read option that they ran. He comes back two plays later. Townsend third and 12, and it is dropped in the end zone by Dante Foster. They are now coming out to kick a field goal. Right down the middle field goal. Make it a 10 to nothing lead. But the kick is wide left, and it is no good. Marshall will, um, Marshall will take possession of the ball after the missed kick. Joaquin Cato play action, and he pitches it to Remy Watson. Remy Watson goes down for 15-yard gain. You come back next play. Kevin Grooms, that's our guy right here. And he makes a move down. To, it's about the 43-yard line, 12-yard gain by Kevin Grooms. Kevin Grooms is really starting to take over as our focal point of our offense here. Here's a throw to Angelo Gene Lewis, the freshman receiver. We come back the very next play, coming out of that wishbone again. And Rakeem Cato pitches it, and it's a bad pitch, and it is picked up. By Ohio, another turnover. We've just been hit with the turnover bug these last couple games. We're going to need to address that relatively quick. And this is a nice catch by Dante Foster. A diving catch. Now second to four. Ohio gets the ball. They throw it off to Cochran. And he gets the nice catch for Ohio Bobcat first down. Now second and ten to try to make something happen. And Blankenship, he gets the ball. And he is down for the first down. And here comes another handoff to Bo, and he is brought down after a four-yard gain. I told you, he was their guy. It was the workhorse for them. They just kept giving him the ball, kept feeding it to him. Right now, third and three, trying to get off the field, but Dante Foster comes up with another catch down at the seven-yard line. It'll be first and goal for Ohio. After we stop him, second to goal now. They give it to Bo Blankenship, and we stuff him on the play. A zero-yard gain right based on line of scrimmage. Now third and goal. We're trying to hold him to hold him to three. They throw it to, and he is knocked short. Mario Devell knocks short of the first down. Marshall comes out for, I mean Ohio comes out for a field goal, and he capitalized. That's in there for three. They're now up ten to nothing. 
But here comes the Thunder and Hurd. Now have the ball. They hand it off to Remy Watson, and he pretty much goes nowhere. Only a gain to two yards. Now third and four. Rakeem Cato's a little bit rattled with this crowd. He steps back, and he gets hit as he throws. That's an incomplete pass for the Thunder and Hurd. They are forced to punt the ball. After the punt, Ohio comes back with the football, and they give it to Bo again, but he goes nowhere on the game. Minus four. Gain of negative four yards. That was great defense. Trying to get off the field again. Third and 14. Tettleton, he draws back. He draws back. He throws the ball, and his man is there all by himself. Matt Waters, he gets a foot inbounds. Gain to 25. Two plays later, now second and 11. They're trying to make something happen. They get it to Dante Foster once again. A 14-yard gain for another Bobcat first down. Third and five. We're trying to get off the field. They give it to Bo, and we stop him. Marshall defense is excited right now. Get them off the field. Holding them to three. Here comes the field goal attempt for the Bobcats. But this is why left again. Two missed field goals in this half for Ohio. We need to capitalize on that great catch by Joe Woodrum. We come back second and 14 later in the drive. And Cato, he finds room to run. And he slides down one yard short. But we had to keep him on his feet. I didn't want him to take that blow. It looked like a suicide mission. So I had to get get down. Third and one, we get that short throw to Demetrius Evans. Gain the three, but that is enough for that first down. Keeping the drive alive. Later, Rakeem Cato, he draws back. He's looking, he's looking. He finds Eric Fernopel, the tight end. A 28-yard gain. Now 20 seconds left in the half. We get it to Kevin Grooms. Kevin Grooms goes. He has some space. A nice spin, and he's down for a first down. But he does suffer a bruised ribs on this play, and he will be out for two quarters. Kevin Grimm's our workhorse is out, so now we're going to have to be trying to play without him. The next play is thrown, and there's another interception. This time we're trying to chase that angle, and he is gone. There is not a thundering herd in sight, and he returns it for a touchdown to end the half. The Ohio Bobcats go into halftime with a 17 to nothing lead. As you see here, three turnovers in the first half. What killed us last week is once again killing us this week. They have a three-minute advantage and time possession. We really need to cut down these turnovers. I don't know what hit us. No turnovers in week one when we came out with the win. But these last two weeks, we've just been turning the ball over terribly. We'll need to cut down the turnovers if we have any chance of ever making the game respectable. As Ohio, at this point, is just kind of pulling away. At home in the rivalry game. Go home to take the bell. We need an answer quick if we want to do something. In this half, we go in the second half. Our first possession. Kim Kettle, he's running the ball off the option. And he finds room to run. He is going to go. Can anybody catch him? He's down to the 15, the 10, the 5. But no, he is brought down at about the 3-yard line. Now two plays later, we're trying to capitalize. Hand off to Remy Watson. And he's... Runs his way into the end zone off the three-yard run. And the Marshall Thunder and Hurd do put up the first touchdown of the game. We needed that. We needed to put up points on the board. But here come Ohio's coming right back. And what a run by Bo Blankenship. And he is down to the 45-yard line. Showing determination on the run. Now third and six. We're trying to get off the field. But it is a completed pass to tight end Troy Hill. 16-yard gain. Now second and 11. Bobcats trying to score a touchdown. They throw the ball to Troy Hill again. And he bounces off for the first down. The very next play to give it to Bo. And he is stuffed. Negative four yard run. Marshall's trying to get off the field. Hold him at least three points. And here comes the running back screen. And he goes nowhere on the run. Or on the pass. <laughs> and they do decide to kick the field goal here. This will be the game long if he makes this, but it is short. And Ohio, once again, with the third missed field goal of the game. Here comes Marshall coming back, and it is caught by Eric Fernopo, and he is laid out, but he holds on to the catch. We come back two plays later. Rakeem Cato, he throws the ball to Demetrius Evans, and he comes down with the catch. 18-yard game for Thunder and her first down. We're trying to bring the game closer. 
We need to capitalize right here. And it is Demetrius Evans again. He is down to the two-yard line. What a play. We come out of the man line of affirmation and we get the ball to Gator Hoskins, the backup tight end. Let's hand it off for him. And we have now brought the game down to three. Here comes the next possession and it is thrown to my Matt Waters. Damn, we trying to get back on the offense relatively quick. We brought the heat. Hit us with the play action. Here we go, Tettleton. They throw the ball and it's oh, almost picked off by Daryl Roberts. He made a play. We do force them to punt, however. Now with a chance to take the lead, Rakim Kittle, he goes with the triple option. He pitches to Remy Watson for the first down. First down, Thunder and Hurd, keeping the drive alive. Now second and ten. We go with the read option, and he keeps the ball. Here comes Rakim Kittle, and he's not brought down until he gets the first down. 13-yard gain. Slowly but surely trying to drive down the field. Not turn the ball over. Rakeem Kelly, he throws the ball to Tommy Schuller. He is laid out, but he shows the hands. And he comes down with the catch. What a catch. Get man got hit, but he came down with the catch. Laid on the drive. Remy Watson, first down. Now first and ten. Play action. Rakeem Kittle, he's looking and he finds Angelo Gene Lewis, the freshman receiver. That is a touchdown. Marshall takes the first lead of the game, 21 unanswered points. But here comes the Ohio Bobcats, giving the ball to Bo Blakenship. Now with only four minutes left in the game, they need to make a play. Somebody needs to make a play for them. Tennyson, he runs and he pitches the ball. And Matt Waiters is gone. And nobody's going to catch him. He is all by himself. Touchdown, Matt Waters, 50-yard run. And they answer right back and take a 24-21 to 21 lead. And your Ohio fans are are feeling the excitement. They're feeling the, the bell coming their way in this rivalry game for the bell. Here they come with the next kickoff. Dale Roberts, he gets the ball. We can not fumble here. And he does not as he finds room to run. And he is going to go down to the 40, the 30. 2010 five touchdown Dale Roberts he picks a great time to come with their first with kick return for a touchdown this season as the Marshall answers right back waste no time getting back on the board and now up 28 to 24 now we're trying to stop Ohio from from going down and scoring we need to get them off the field Run a little bit of clock off, but they find Mike Waters again. He is laid out, but he holds onto the ball. First down, Bobcats. They now come. Tattle 10 is running, and he is brought down, but not after a nine yard run. It's now 30 inches. We need to bring everybody, and we do it. We stop him. What a play by the defense. Now, fourth and three. But Ohio decides to go for our fourth down, and we need to bring down Bo, and he breaks tackles, and he gets the first down. That man just showed determination on that run. Now second to ten. Tennyson drives back. He finds a wide open Chase Cochran down the middle of the field. 147 left in the game. Now third and two later on. And they get another first down to now get a first and goal. Get four more downs. But now third and goal. We're trying to stop them. And we do. We do stop on the handoff to Ryan Boykin. He loses five yards. Now fourth and goal. We're trying to get the stop and go home with the W. Tattleton, he drops back. He's looking. He's looking. There's nobody to throw to, but he finds a diving Landon Smith. Man, Landon Smith comes up big in a huge catch. Ah, what a catch. There was really nothing we could do. He just made a great catch. Give them the 31 to 28 lead. We are now down three. Uh, one drive. Try to make a play. Last last game we came up short on the game with a drive. What can we do? This play. We throw the ball and it is picked off. And that should end the game right there. Uh, we throw the pick and Coach Lloyd is just upset at Cato. Another interception. Third interception of the game. And they're trying to run out the ball over here. Bo Blankenship, he loses three yards. We call a timeout. We do have all three timeouts on the play. Now second and 13. We have to make a stop quick. He finds some room to run, but we bring him down. It is now third and nine. We call another timeout. 
And this is it. Third and nine. We got to stop him right here. We do have one more timeout. And Blankenship, he does stumble. We bring him down. So we do use our third and final timeout as we do stop them on downs. They go for a very long field goal. We're on field goal return. And it is short, but we decide to not return the ball as we're better off just taking the ball from there and not wasting any time. We come, Kato. No timeouts. We got to make something happen. Finds Tommy Schuler as he gets out of bounds. Very next play on first and ten. We drop back. And Kato finds Eric Fernopel, the tight end. Down to we have no timeouts. So after the spike, we do spike the ball. We come back down. And he throws the ball up the middle of the wood drum. And he is brought down to the six-yard line. There is no timeouts on the play. So we do come down. No huddle. We spike the ball right after the spike. Rakeem Kettle's looking to find somebody in the end zone. And he finds somebody short of the end zone. But he does get out of bounds. And this kick is to send us to overtime. They did ice us. And this is the kick to send the game into overtime. And it is good. Your Marshall Thunder and her do forced overtime. Coming back from 17 points down. Overtime I go tails. We won the toss. And I have to go defense here. We have to play the odds and go defense. Here comes overtime. First play overtime. See what Ohio does. They drop back. They throw the ball. And he is wide open. Dante Foster again for the touchdown. First play. And that is putting nothing but pressure on your Marshall Thunder and Herd. They have to go down and score. This is it. Do or die for the Thunder and Herd. First play of overtime. He finds King short. And it is caught. On the play, second and inches. Now third and inches after we after incomplete pass, we go a little bit of wishbone, but we hand it off to the fullback Grace, and he runs and gets the first down after a gain of about six yards. Now third and eight, we're going for a halfback draw, and it's Landon Grooms, a halfback screen. Kevin Grooms, that was his first play back from injury, and he comes back big. Go running in for the first down and forcing a du double overtime. Here we go. First play of the second overtime. Rakeem Cato running back on. Wishbone again, but there's a QB keeper. And he runs up and he finds room to run. And he is down to the 10-yard line. The very next play, we're looking, looking. He's scrambling, but he sees Kevin Groves. And there is a touchdown. Touchdown, Marshalls. They answer back for the second overtime. So now we put the pressure to Ohio Bobcats. If they need a score if they want to keep this game alive. And it is dropped by Chase Cochran on the first play of the second overtime. Now second and ten. Tyler Tennyson, he's dropping. He's looking. He's looking. And it is incomplete. I think we got away with a defensive pass interference there. But, hey, I'm not going to complain. We needed that one right here. Third and ten. They're trying to make a play. And he has plenty of time, and they throw the ball, and it's caught by Matt Waters. He gets laid out, but not after they're down to the six-yard line. Now first and goal. Here we go with the halfback screen, but he gets tackled at about the two-yard line. And now second to goal. Ohio's trying to run it in, but it is stopped short. Bo Blankenship cannot get in. The Marshall defense is feeling excited. Now they only need two stops away from the win. And this third down ball was stopped again. So now all the pressure. This is it. Do or die for Ohio. They need to get in the end zone. Tennelton, he's looking. He's dropped. He's looking. He's looking. Plenty of time. Maybe too much time. But he is dropped by Chase Cochran. And your Marshall Thunder and her will come away with the win. They now go to 2-1 and one on the season. Win the rivalry game for the Battle of the Bell. Man, that was a close game. We needed that win. We needed to stay above 500, and we do. We come out of Ohio with the win. Very close game. Your player of the game was Rakeem Cato. 378 total yards. He did have the, the four turnovers, the three picks, the one fumble, but he has three touchdowns. He did drive it down for the win. Man, that was a very close game. Man, so remember, if you like this video, to comment, like, subscribe. Uh, I'm looking forward to episode 5 as we take on the Virginia Tech Hokies and Blacksburg. So I hope you stay tuned for next week's episode. I'll see you then. Peace.